and if you heed people of your kind fellow human beings with open eyes then you will certainly find that it is not those who are assiduous in the truth who are the ones that seek to foster all the terrible things of the world and bring about battle war jealousy hatred and revenge retribution and greed death ruin and destruction as well as hardship and misery on the world and all people of your kind human kind Rather it is those who pray to gods and tin gods and who crawl before all kinds of godly religious and sectarian priests and servants of gods and servants of tin gods who place images of gods and tin gods at the side of the wellspring of all life creation and truly it is without doubt those who are not connected to the truth of the wellspring of all life creation and those who say that they stand in friendship with their god or tin gods as godly religious or sectarian believers and only carry out what is imposed on commanded for them through their godhead or their tin god and they believe that their false prophets and priests and other servants hands with helpers of gods and tin gods are savants sin gods and savants and tin gods which is why they are slimly subservient to them but if they hear the truth and understand it in the way that it is explained by the teaching of the prophets then you see their eyes flood with tears because of the truth that they recognize see and they raise themselves up then in modesty in order to prove themselves as witnesses to what the teaching of truth the teaching of spirit the teaching of life reveals and truly why shall you not make the truth of the primal wellspring of all life creation and its laws and recommendations your own as people of your kind human beings after all you do inwardly wish that your life were formed characterized in this way so that you may count yourselves amongst the right-minded ones. And for the sake of what they wish and strive for, they build in their inner nature gardens as a reward, through which flow the streams of love and peace and freedom, of consonance harmony, and of knowledge and of wisdom, and if they are steadfast then they will remain there for all time as a reward because they do good and follow the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all life creation. Those, however, who persist in unknowledge and reject the signs evidence of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all life creation, they are occupants of the shadow world hell, that they have created in themselves, the fire of which consumes them from within, therefore they are unsatisfied and do not bear any true love within themselves, neither any consonance harmony, peace nor freedom. Therefore be concerned to give fullness sufficiency to the truth so that you do not do things that are not permitted to you out of righteousness, conscientiousness, and equitableness, fairness, and virtue and do not turn things that are permitted to you through righteousness conscientiousness equitableness fairness and virtue into something disallowed forbidden and do not exceed any law or recommendation that has been created by people of your kind human beings so that you do not come into dispute conflict with the authority with jurisdiction or with your next ones because infractors of any things whatsoever are always unpopular and their infractions illegalities lead to hostility truly you will never be called to account for your good thoughts and deeds and works but even one imprudent word can create hostility and hatred and false vows false sows bring you defilement and punishment because if you have sworn falsely sworn a false oath with intent deliberately then you will be called to account and if you swear an oath in righteousness conscientiousness for something then keep the vow and give it fulfillment so that you give a sign set an example through your own honor and amongst people of your kind fellow human beings and so that you yourselves may be thankful and truly a vow shall never be broken just as a pledge promise shall never be broken because it is a word of honor and whoever breaks the same casts themselves into defilement into disnor and disrepute discredit Know that wine and all other fermented juices, alcohol such as their spirits, etc., shall not be allowed if they are drunk beyond good measure and to drunkenness, because in drunkenness you lose your control over yourselves, therefore drunkenness lightens the tongue, makes it unrestrained, and leads to babbling and indignity, as well as the disclosure betrayal, 
of secrets continuous drunkenness also leads to vice and to illness addiction of the body both in the inner world consciousness and in the slings viscera kidneys liver etc as well as to seeing through delusion dips mania delirium tremens methamania mania and to agitation nervousness and know also that gambling leads to illness addiction as do images of gods and images of tin gods godly cult objects and the belief in gods and tin gods which you transmit pass on to your descendants and so they are beset affected by them and guilt and already at their procreation so that they fall prey in their lives to godly religious sectarian belief assumptions from which they can only escape with difficulty avoid illness addictions vices which you yourselves create because they are disgusting and shall be an abomination to you because they are a work of evil that you create and keep nurture within yourselves avoid all these terrible things so that it shall be well with you truly the evil that you create in yourselves also through wine and all kinds of fermented juices alcohol their spirits gambling and godly religious belief assumptions only creates hostility and hatred and excites terrible vices addictions and thoughts in you so that these become sick manic and destroy your inner world consciousness and your psyche and therefore you shall refrain from them and as you are stricken by illness in your inner world consciousness and in your psyche the more you wander about aimlessly and create further evil in yourselves such as hatred and jealousy hostility thirst for revenge and the urge for retribution so that then you kill and allow battles wars to break out and destroy everything that people of your kind fellow human beings have brought forth created laboriously during their life and as you behave in this way you put non right before right therefore you are not helpful to one another but kill murder one another and deceive light a slander calumniate and a file disnerve in any way that is possible to you in your false doings you assume believe yourselves to be strong and in bitter torment the weak ones in contradiction to the recommendations of the primal power creation that the stronger one shall help the weaker one therefore it is recommended to you that you pay attention to the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation and be on your guard against the evil that you are creating in yourselves and if you are not on guard against yourselves and against everything evil and terrible that you create in yourselves because you have fallen away from the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation which have been taught to you by the true prophets then do not blame them because they only bring the clear proclamation of the message of the truth and are your teachers but what you choose to make of the teaching is purely a matter of your assiduousness your own concern truly no prophet can change you and turn you to the better because you are only capable of doing this to yourselves if you heed the signs evidence of the teaching of truth the teaching of spirit the teaching of life and follow them yourselves truly it is not enough to appear kind hearted to look good be for people of your kind fellow human beings and to have yourselves raised up when you do good deeds in order to be dazzle be full and to make yourselves great and important because good deeds are only of value if they are truly done in kind heartedness and love in a bright and deferential dignity and as you shall do good in uprightness and in venerability of the dignity towards people of your kind human beings so the same applies to animals and all creatures and everything that crawls and flies and therefore do not kill any game any animals or other creatures that you do not need for your food except if it is sick or injured and would otherwise die in suffering then you shall kill it and release it from its torment but you can also kill animals and other creatures for support gam keeping and care through hunting so that no excessive number population comes about through which harm would be caused to people of your kind human beings and to animals and other creatures or to the world nature if however robbery poaching is conducted in any form and the fallible ones shall be brought to the authority or jurisdiction for punishment